नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल द इज़राइल हमस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कंटिन्यूज इट्स क्लेम्ड क्लोज टू थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड लाइफ एंड दिस लाइक आई टोल्ड यू सीम्स टू ओनली गेटिंग बिग अप एंड एज डेज पास मोर लाइफ विल बी लॉस्ट एंड दैट्स द अनफॉर्चुनेट पार्ट नाउ my editorial today is slightly different from this particular topic because like i said a lot of my colleagues are already doing uh, giving you updates and a lot of other channels are also giving you updates so i'm sure you have your updates on the on what is happening on ground but what i'm going to talk about today is uh, how is india impacted with all of this what is our stand in all of this and what should be our stand in all of this this is what i am going to talk about today and uh, today it's not going to be my opinion it's going to be yours so let's get right into the show now uh, the reason i wanted to do this editorial is because um, a lot of us are split are have our own opinion about what's happening uh, in palestine and uh, and israel a lot of us Uh, side one party or another in india now what i also see is uh, this uh, this uh, siding of one side versus another is also very much uh, linked to the ideology a lot of right wingers will side with the israel and a lot of left wingers are, are are or whatever centrist or whatever whatever who people who are not right wingers are supporting palestine it's not necessary that all right wingers are supporting israel neither is it necessary that all centrists are supporting palestine wo bhi nahi hai waisa bhi kuch nahi hai but yeah i mean it's it's becoming very ideological based so now what i want to put in front of my viewers my audience that is you i want you to show this i want you to see the situation i'm going to clearly put the situation i'm going to put the historic side of the situation and then india's perspective i'm going to put the situation in front of you and you form your opinion and i would like to hear i want to know that opinion please write down what your opinion is and let us let us decide purely as if you were the external affairs minister of india let's decide that way let's understand what's happened and then let's decide, let's decide that way so let's start with the historic perspective look at the the screen look at what palestine was in 1917 Versus what Palestine is in 2020, ठीक है ना? So Palestine has been reduced. The whole the whole country was Palestine, and Palestine has been reduced, 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 reduced to what it is currently, 2020 or 2023. That is current Palestine. Look at the difference between what it was and what it is. This is what Israel has done to Palestine. So that's the first point I want to make to you. Now let us come to the next point. ठीक है ना नाउ लेट अस कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इंडिया इज रोल इन ऑल ऑफ दिस व्हिच विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नाउ लेट मी टेल यू इन 1947 इन 1947 फॉर पीपल हु हैव सीन माय एडिटोरियल डे बिफोर यस्टरडे इफ यू हैव नॉट आई वुड urge you to see my editorial day before yesterday i have given you the chronology as to how israel was made and how palestine was made and all of that so 1947 india voted against the partition of palestine plan along with the arab countries so india stood by the arab countries and stood along with the arab countries not by the country stood along with the arab countries and went against the partition plan for palestine india voted against the admission of israel in united nations India was also against getting Israel in United Nations. India was one of the last non-Muslim states to recognize Israel. We recognized Israel in 1950. We were the last non-Muslim state to recognize. India was among the first to recognize Palestine in 1988. India was the first non-Arab state to recognize Palestine Liberation Organization in 1974. India had a very good relationship with yasir arafat and yasir arafat has come to india frequently during the 1980s so we not only accepted palestine we not only accepted uh, recognized plo uh, yasir arafat had a fantastic relationship with indira gandhi now this said this said let me not uh, send any wrong uh, information india 
on one end had a very good relationship with Israel. We never had bad relationship with Israel. Yeah, but we openly had good relationship with Palestine, but we also maintained a fairly good relationship with Israel. Now, this is what the our diplomatic stance was till almost 1980s. Now, looking at it from India's perspective, Palestine is part of the Arabic countries. We need to understand that Arab nations never favored India in the 1962 war against China. They remained neutral. They remained neutral. 1965 war and 1971 war that is against Pakistan, Arab countries stood by Pakistan, not by India. 1965-1971. On the contrary, on the contrary, Israel helped India in 1962 and 1965. Covertly, not overtly, not openly, but covertly. Israel helped India both in 1962 and in 1965. So Israel was very positively disposed to India. They were, they were very positive to India. Now, in 1992, in 1992, mind you, was the first time when there is the, the India and Tel Aviv, uh, that is New Delhi and Tel Aviv established a full diplomatic relationship. In 1992 is when we formally established a relationship with Tel Aviv, with uh, Israel. So, New Delhi and Tel Aviv established relationship where we opened our embassy in 1992 in Tel Aviv. And in 1998, Israel was one of the selected few nations, a group that included France and Russia. So France, Russia and Israel didn't uh, condemn us for our Pokhran nuclear test. They were the three countries who didn't condemn us. France, Russia and Israel. Israel stood by us. The entire rest of the world, including Arab countries, went against us. Okay, 1999, Israel helped us in Kargil War. Now, interestingly, very interestingly, Kargil War, they say that, you know, we won the Kargil War. Israel's help was very important. So that is what Israel has been doing for India right since 1961. So Israel has been backing India. So again, let me divide this very clearly for you. As far as Israel-Palestine is concerned, Israel came into, uh, Israel was given part of Palestine. Palestine was, the Arab land of Palestine was, was divided. Israel was given a part of it. As people persecuted uh, uh, Jews came into Israel and as, as people grew in Israel, Israel started, started expanding their territory, started taking over the Palestinian territory. I showed you the map. I am showing it to you again. This is where it started and this is where it is now. So uh, they have started occupying Palestinian territory. So it was a very violent territory, a very violent re region. So that's the stance. That is reality. But as far as India is concerned, more than any other Arab countries, Israel has been with India. This is from a diplomatic point of view. That doesn't make something right or something wrong. All I am trying to make you aware is this is exactly the position. Now, who is right, who is wrong is something that you can decide. And to my mind, any violent action is wrong. And this time the violent action came from Hamas. Now, this is uh, where it comes. Now, let us also look at Modi government's uh, uh, interaction with Israel and Palestine. See, in 2014, India favored the United Nations Human Rights Resolution to probe Israel's human rights violation in Gaza. Despite supporting the probe, despite supporting the probe, India abstained from voting against Israel in the United Nations Human Rights Commission in 2015. We supported the probe against Israel, but we never voted. Okay, so to that extent, Tacitly, we were supporting Israel. 2017, Modi was the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Israel. And Prime Minister Modi did not visit Palestine. He visited Israel. He did not visit Palestine. That point in time, in 2017, it was seen as a policy shift. Everybody said, no, 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 no. We are shifting towards Israel. Now we are going closer to Israel and all of that. You see, in 2018, Modi made another trip. Modi made another trip to Palestine. 
of course he was also been given the highest civilian award in palestine but he made a trip to palestine and this time in 2018 he did not visit israel he only went to palestine but 2018 same year nitinyahu prime minister of uh, uh, israel visited india so india again somewhere uh, we maintained that balance uh, that why we were not against palestine we were not against israel we were for palestine we were for israel earlier on also we were openly for palestine but we were to a large extent also maintaining fantastic relationship with israel and that is precisely why israel has been constantly helping us israel has helped us whenever we needed help the most this is the actual situation this is what it is happened this is the this is the on ground situation now let me conclude to conclude i have a couple of points that i wanted to make first of all i think we should keep a watch out for pakistan why watch out for pakistan because see pakistan is in its rock bottom at the moment economically and even image wise they are irrelevant as far as the world is concerned currently so with this kind this war happening this conflict happening pakistan can elevate itself to be the leader of the muslim world in a way it's a nuclear power pakistan doesn't have money but all the people who are supporting palestine a lot of arab countries they have money and if they supply money to pakistan and pakistan also gets this image booster of being a, a leader of the muslim world maybe and which they think they are self professed leader of the muslim world in fact they think they are the most powerful muslim nation so if they do that well they could take some steps excuse my language but they could take some steps which are stupid and that is something that india should be wary about they should take they would they could take some steps in this conflict which are which which could be stupid which could be detrimental for their own future that is something that we should we as a nation should be wary about because in if because if they involve themselves in this they would not only get uh, money which they will they will also get some kind of there will also be some relevance to them in the in the global scenario so that's the point first point that i am i am uh, that's the first point that i want to tell you the second point is see at some point in time now india will have to play a role in this i am not saying india will be the country that will play a role but india will also have to be part of the countries that will play a role to bring about a, a solution to this problem getting both uh, palestine and uh, israel to the table without causing each other more harm than they have already caused getting them to a table having a dialogue and negotiating peace between them this is something that's going to be very imperative because if it doesn't happen like i told you before unlike the ukraine russian war this may take a larger dimension because a lot of countries will get involved both on palestine side and on the israeli side a lot of countries will get involved so it is better that as soon as possible and uh, some kind of a compromise is is negotiated and some kind of a discussion some kind of a a uh, peace talk starts that's going to be important and that is where india could play a very vital role amongst a lot of other countries india could also play a very vital role so this is what i wanted to say and um, like i said you decide you decide who is right who is wrong write down who is right who is wrong and i'll be waiting to hear from you till i see you next time namaskar